This is Jodina Meehan at Cymatica Studios, and the question I am addressing today is um, in looking at cymatic patterns, is there anywhere in nature where we can see these patterns existing? And uh, I'm going to let you get a sneak peek at Alexander Lauterwasser's book, Water Sound Images. Um, this is published by Macromedia Publishing. Uh, you can get it at um, Amazon.com uh, or you can go um, directly to the website uh, CymaticSource.com. Um, in either case, um, this is a, a really important book if you're interested in cymatics. And uh, I'm going to show you. Um, he com compares right here. Um, some cymatic images and images of the seed of a poppy pollen and flower of chicory so you can see by looking at this, very similar patterns. Um, and here's another example. He has many examples of this in his book, but I'm just showing you two very striking ones. Here's another cymatics pattern. The spiral rating fading out from the center. And here are his examples from nature. A vortex in water. Um, shell of a snail and uh, looking down from the top at a cactus and uh, the um, the idea in comparing these shapes uh, is, is building off something that Hans Yeni um, who wrote uh, the book Cymatics um, talks about um, doesn't necessarily make claims about or leap to conclusions. He wasn't one for leaping to conclusions. Um, he was one for merely studying the phenomena, recording it, and, uh, and uh, um, letting that lead on to further study. Um, but the idea is that if we look at cymatic patterns um, and understand that what those are is uh, 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 waves vibrating matter. Um, then we can look at the physical world around us and um, imagine, uh, as we know, that um, matter is um, what looks like solid matter to us is really uh, um, vibration. Um, under, underlying the physical structures and if we uh, look at it closely um, and, and uh, magnify it we will see that there uh, are, are molecules and cells vibrating at the heart of everything. Um, we can imagine that um, uh, all, all physical matter is formed and generated by vibration and by waves and uh, when you're looking at cymatics and seeing um, a shape go from chaos to order merely by applying vibration to matter um, it's a really um, inspiring and exciting way of imagining um, the world taking shape around us um, and further than that I'm, I'm not going to say anything one because um, I'm not an expert on it. Um, I like to think about things that way and uh, imagine things working that way. I don't have uh, uh, a lot more evidence to, um, to uh, hold up those views um, and I also don't like to jump to conclusions but uh, it's one way of, of uh, looking at things, of um, imagining uh, the uh, creation
creation of matter and um, the holding together of matter and uh, and uh, that's it if you would like to uh, learn more about cymatics I encourage you to um, to pick up this book uh, water sound images um, or cymatics by Hans Yanning um, those are two very good places to start your studies <laughs>